Hello, Sarah and Kevin here at Market Wines. <coughs> Excited for another weekend ahead, and it happens to be a long one. Oh yeah, a long weekend, right? That's an extra day for wine. That. It was a long weekend last weekend for me because uh, we had the barbecue event on Sunday or Saturday? Saturday night. Saturday night. We had a lot of people in here. How'd it go? It was a lot more, I think it felt like it was more drinking than tasting at some point. At that <laughs> one, but Sometimes that happens. Yeah. That's what barbecues are for. It was fun. It was fun. It went late. I think people had a pretty good time and uh, yeah, really good food from Big T's and lots of wine. Of long. It was a long weekend, so I guess we're doing another long weekend We now. are doing another long weekend. But at least we got some Domaine Lafon for our I'm weekend, so excited. So, so yeah. you picked these this week. I know. I'm and straight up addicted to this one. Oh man, I know. It's like you're in my head. These are like three of my house wines. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to beat these though. Like bang for the buck. Um, I mean, there's a reason these are our most popular wines in the Rhone Valley, right? And I mean, the Cote has been a staple forever. But let's start. Let's start talking about the white. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So tell us a little bit about Lirac. Where is that? So Lirac is a place. It's a village. Um, it's in the Rhone Valley. So we're in the south of France. And Lirac is right across from its famous neighbor, Chateau Neuf du Pop. So Lirac right. doesn't get quite as much press or Not nearly. Um, doesn't have the accolades that Shadow Enough to Pop does, but it does share a lot of the same terroir. Yeah, you've been there. Mm -hmm. I've been there. We've both been to this winery. I think I made you go by yourself because I was too tired. I know. I was still, with them on a trip. Still and... haven't forgiven me for that. <laughs> no. <one. laughs> it was a great, great trip, though. I got a free bottle of wine from Pascal well, and had a great visit. <laughs> yeah, Pascal's a great guy. We've been working with these wines forever. Like, I want to say, like more than 15 years for sure. I remember the first vintage of the Cote de Rhone was probably around 2003, the first time we wow. had it. So yeah, we've got some history with these guys. In fact, Pascal isn't even the guy we meet anymore. It's the kids now. And that's always fun for us when we've been working with the winery mm -hmm. for so long that now the, the father's kind of passed it down to the son and we go we go meet the son now. So that's kind of cool. It's yeah, awesome. absolutely. Yeah. That's super cool. So this Lyrac, which I've, uh, just told you I'm fully addicted to. Tell us a little bit about what's in here. So it's a blend of a couple of white grape varietals we typically see from the south of France. Uh, one being Grenache Blanc, um, the other being Viognier. So right. you find the wines of the white wines of Lirac are typically quite full-bodied, really aromatic, uh, really textural, and yeah. um, minerally really rocky. This is really rich and round, and I've noticed they've changed their style a little bit on this wine, because in the old days, mm. and I think this is true of a lot of white Rhones, they used to be big and blousy and really rich, and kind of like almost too much in some ways, where you'd want to drink a little bit, but yeah. maybe not like a, an, uh, like a bunch of it. And now, I just want to drink a bunch of you it. You want to drink a lot. Yeah, it's a lot fresher, it's a lot, like, it's a little bit leaner. It still has all that personality that you expect in Viognier, like you get that white peach, you get that really kind of exotic mm. aromatic to it, but there's just a little more freshness to it, and I'm I'm a huge fan of this. They're all organic now, too, I notice on the back label, yep, right? Yeah, certified their, organic, uh, they're certified biodynamic, biodynamic as yeah. well, so if you're looking awesome. for more of those um, really clean wines, this is definitely one to check out. Yeah, if you're not into drinking, you know, pesticides and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, so that's great. <laughs> Don't put that on your checklist. Interesting in Lyrac too, I found the thing that surprised me the most when we were there is that it looks identical to Chardonnay, right? Like the soils, I, I thought it would look a little bit different. You know, Chardonnay's really famous for those like pudding stones or those galets, those big round rocks and Lyrac's just thick with them too. And right? they're huge. They're yeah. like this big and they're nice and round and... Yeah, the river used to run right mm -hmm. through all that, right? And it just sort of rounded out these stones. It's a beautiful area. It's a lot less expensive than Chardonnay. And for me, I honestly wouldn't know I wasn't drinking white Chardonnay if it didn't totally. give me a glass of that because that is straight up delicious and tastes like white Chardonnay. So. And it's half the price. Oh, how much is it? $26.95. Um, white Chardonnay, if you're looking at that $60 price point Easy. entry. Yeah, if Yeah, for sure. if you're... So if there you're you lucky. go. That's an awesome deal. I yeah. Mean, we don't get a lot of this guy. It seems like it's out of stock more than it's in stock. Yeah. So if this sounds appealing to you, don't wait too long. Yeah. Let's get into the rosé. This is a Sarah special. <laughs> I think this is the wine you take home more than oh any other wine. Oh my gosh. I love this wine so much for so many reasons. What do you love about it? Um, well, I love the color. I, I know it's a darker rosé, but don't let that scare you. Um, it's just got a little bit more body to it, um, a little bit more complexity. That's amazing. Um, and coming from Tavel. So right. Tavel being the region um, where actually the wine is, winery is actually located, 
And they only make rosé, so I always like to say, well, they must be experts at it if that's all they do. That's all they do. No red, no white. If you're in Tavelle, you're drinking Just pink. pink. That's it. And, and that's actually darker. where the winery is, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're actually located there. So these tend to be, like, for me, a little more gastronomic wines, right? Mm. Like something you're going to have with food. Like usually when I think rosé, I'm thinking like I'm sitting out on the on the beach or in the backyard or just, you know, drinking it on its own. Yep. But this guy is a great food wine because there's a little more power, there's a little more structure. Like it's closer to a red maybe than a white. Totally. Drinks like a really light red. Um, totally dry. I just, I love it. It's great in the winter. It's great winter okay. rosé. It's awesome with like turkey and ham over the holidays. Or in the summer, like it's it's really a year round. Any 365 season, really. As long as you're awake, it's a great one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you're sleeping. <laughs> Try the way you one. go through it, you must be drinking it while you're sleeping too. <laughs> All right, should we jump into the red or? Yeah. All right. So this is now I see uh, biodynamic too. So is it yeah. like the whole winery? Looks the whole like winery that. went biodynamic, I think, about five oh. years ago officially. This one always gets crazy good press. Actually, both these wines, I notice, I read about them a lot in like Wine Spectator and online. Like people give these wines really good reviews, and I think it's because the price points are so good that they really want to put a put a light on these guys. Because really, I mean, I don't think we have a better coach on for the money. And I don't think we found in the 15 or 16 years we've worked with these guys, I don't think we found a better coach on. Right? Like this I is would still I every year. The completely best deal. agree with you. And really, the prices haven't gone up much in. The last no. 11 years that I've been here, I, I mean, a that, dollar, right? a couple dollars maybe. So yeah, they really kept was, their prices consistent. Yeah, I think this was 19 bucks. Yeah, 15 years ago. Now it's 21.95. It? So that's pretty fair. Two bucks in a decade and a half. That's so, fair. Absolutely. <laughs> where a lot of other guys have, you know, doubled their price in that time. So yep. this has really stayed a remarkable deal if you think about it. And during that time, they've gone organic and biodynamic. The quality of the wine gets better every yep. year. So I think you're getting more wine than you did. 10 or 15 years ago and agreed not much more to pay and this smells amazing this is so fresh and it's so friendly i love bringing people mm. into french wine through this bottle because it's yeah. it's got everything it's got lots of fruit but it's point. pretty soft on the palate um yeah but if it you're an aussie you, guy or a california yeah. guy you could kind of slide this one in there and say hey this is what the french wines are all about i don't think it would freak anyone out would it no no that's really, <laughs> really good wine it's got that generosity of the south of france right you can taste that warmth of the sun and that nice ripe cherry mm -hmm. kind of fruit to it it's pretty easy pretty easy to like that that guy another house wine of mine yeah there you go your house must be really big <laughs> all the wine you fit in there right <laughs> well it doesn't stick around too long i'll yeah, tell you that's that true. you got a couple extra recycling bins out yeah <laughs> well that's a great lineup i love the price points here we're like these two are the same right 26 26 95. 22 for that guy yep. so if you're looking for some nice barbecue wines looks, are we gonna get some decent weather yeah Maybe. looking good this weekend right uh, on. we should do weather forecasting on our absolutely blurbs every week what about this guy? This is coming up now, eh? The yeah. girls made out. I'd like to talk about it, but I've never been to one. Got it up, upside yeah, down. Upside there down. we go. That's better. Thanks, Sarah. That's why you're not invited. That's um, yeah, so Girls Night Out, it's our annual festival tasting for the ladies only. Um, right on. We're super excited. We're teaming up with the Calgary Farmers Market for food. And we'll be pouring over 25 different wines. It's cool. a great night out with your girlfriends. Yeah, and we um, feature wines from female winemakers. Yep, female winemakers, yeah, cider, like awesome beer. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. All yeah, right. Looking forward to it. Hope we see you on the weekend. Bye.